Hi everyone, Carl here and today we'll be making this piece of science fiction scatter terrain for games of Necromunda, Warhammer 40k and possibly War Machine and Infinity. Before we start, I would like to thank everyone on Facebook and Instagram who dropped in some ideas as to what this basic piece could be. Had some great suggestions there, including bunker entrance, space dumpster, defense turret and everyone's favorite, giant space toilet. Thank you everyone, that was really entertaining reading and you gave me a bunch of new ideas for new projects. This build is very simple as I decided to make it so that I could have something to practice withering techniques on. However, it's also extremely versatile and by adding a few more bits and pieces to it you could represent a large variety of things. I started from this cap off a bottle of body wash and glued down the lid in place. Tried using polystyrene cement at first but that does absolutely nothing to polypropylene so I went back to super glue. Next, I sliced a few panel lines into the cap and cleaned and widened them a little with a file. These lines would represent the different plates that this thing is made out of. To make some bolts or rivets, I sliced up the stem of a cotton swab into pieces of similar thickness and glued them along either side of the panel lines. I also wanted to hide the living hinge on the cap, so I stripped a piece of insulation from a spare electrical wire and cut it in half along the length. Once I glued this in place, I cut two slots to represent the uh, parts of the hinge. These were mostly filled in with paint later, so they were nearly invisible. And if I do this again, I should probably cut it up beforehand and leave some more space. To make the pin on the hinge, I cut another circle of the cotton swab and cut that in half. As a happy accident, the stem delaminated when I cut it, leaving me with two smaller half circles. I glued one to each end of the hinge. That's all the building on this one. Of course, if you want, you can keep adding all the bits you like onto it. Since I made this to practice weathering, I just left it at this and got on with the painting. By the way, if you have any suggestions for household junk to be recycled into terrain, drop a comment here or on Facebook. Before I sprayed the piece up, I attached it to a vitamin bottle. In retrospect, I should probably have used a smaller holder as this one was a bit wider than the cap. That made it a little harder to paint in places and slightly tore up the paint when I removed it. Luckily, it wasn't too bad and easily fixable. I base coated the whole piece a nice rusty brown, then painted the body green and the hat yellow. At this point, I wasn't trying to get a nice smooth coat, just a good coverage. I wanted the hatch cover to have hazard stripes, so I gave the piece a light coat of sealer and added some strips of painter's tape on the hatch before masking the rest of it and blasting it with a black spray paint. For weathering, I used a torn up piece of sponge to apply tiny amounts of ivory paint all over. Then applied streaks of the same on the edges and other places where the paint would probably be a bit worn. To add a second layer, I used the sponge again, this time with raw sienna, and then brushed it again. This time I also added some splotches inside the larger ivory splotches.
Finally, I touched up some of the larger Rascaler Deas with a dark brown-black mix and painted up the rivets and studs. Once all this was dry, I sealed the piece again and made a second stencil to go on the blank side. This one was a bit trickier to make because of the angles, but with some patience and by using the blade to help the uh, tape of the cutting mat, it's not too bad. There is one step here which I didn't record, I added some salt to the exposed surface before spraying it white. Once I took off the stencil, I brushed off the salt, leaving the stencil text looking worn. Next, I made a wash of black ink and raw sienna and painted it into the panel lines, recesses and under various rivets and studs, and feathered it a little. For the final step, I took an HB pencil and buffed the exposed metal parts. This is something I picked up watching a tank modeling YouTuber, Nightshift, and though he uses a softer pencil, I think the effect still turned out great. Graphite gives a dull metallic look, which is more fitting than a shiny metal paint here. I'm not sure how well graphite will hold to handling, but I put plenty of sealer on it, so it should be fine. And that's it for this piece. I could have gone on and added more layers, but like I said, this was an experimental piece and I learned enough from it for, for the time being. I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions or advice, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.